hello everyone today in this video we are going to discuss about what is gd extension issue and how to resolve this issue so basically i am installing the laravel server side jira data tables into my client project i am building fyp for a client and here i am installing my jira server side data table and i face this issue so what's the issue so it says that php office spreadsheet require extension gd so it's missing from your system so it means that our gd extension is required here so how to install this gd so you don't need to install this it's already exists in the php ini file so if you are using the xamp or different one so you can directly open your ini file so let's go here and click on this uh, start bar and type cmd and I, in this uh, cmd i'm going to type a command and open the ini file using this command line so type php ini and hit enter and it will open the php ini file and yes it's opened so click on this control f and uh, type gd and click on this find right and it's find this extension here and it's by default uh, commented right so when you are in the php ini file so if there is semicolon added so it means that this line is commented so how to uncomment this so just remove this one and it will be uncommented save this one uh, close this and there is one more step you need to restart your server otherwise your changes is, uh, changes are not going to work so it will loading the existing uh, existing xamp server settings and uh, i'm restarting it and then here now it's restarted successfully so here i'm going to uh, run this command again right so by the way i got this command uh, here this is simple straightforward only one command and server side irritables are in your project and uh, yes and yes now it's loading the files and it's working exactly right in my case i have installed this yajira data table that's why it's not going to install it again because it's telling us that nothing to modify in, in the log file so it means that in your case if you would not install this it will be installing installation will be started here and autom automatically it will generate the auto load files so it means that by enabling the gd extension from the ini file we will fix the gd extension issue so it's pretty straightforward by the way if you are not familiar with my youtube channel my name is dayat niazi and i'm full stack web developer nowadays i'm shooting the videos on the laravel so i have different playlist on the laravel where you can get the benefit to like jquery with ajax call you will learn that how we can send the request using ajax call without page refresh and uh, how to load the data in the server side data table and how to refresh them when we save the record in the database and there is set of vs code for laravel so if you are laravel developer you should must watch this series because in this series i told you that how you can boost your development because i installed many of the extension which will help you to increase your code uh, you can code faster right so like in this case now our project is more visible like simple one i have added these icons using extension so i can also instantly go to any of the extension like if i click on this uh, request so i am inside this request class right so you can go to any of the files you can also add the namespace at the top so you don't need to manually type this at the top so there are there are much more things which will increase your uh, development uh, process right so there is also series on laravel pdf series where you will learn that how you can generate the pdf in advanced formats right so laravel 9 course if you are familiar with the hindi or urdu you, you can learn this laravel 9 course from zero to hero okay and there is much more thing integrate admin dashboard uh, laravel advanced mail series where you can send email based on activated theme so if user role uh, you can also send the email based on roles if user role is admin then send the green email otherwise send the blue email so how you can do this so you will learn this in this series and uh, this one would be stripe integration so if you need to uh, uh, in the subscriptions implement the subscription into your project so you can watch this full series i started it from zero to hero so there are much more thing laravel full calendar js and there is also series on laravel step by step so we will learn laravel from zero to hero level 
so hope you will uh, get some benefit from this channel and there is some more community tab where you can get the regular tips and tricks from this so uh, youtube channel so i am posting uh, daily tips and tricks right so hope you will get some beneficial from this channel and if you like this video please subscribe the youtube channel and share it with your friends so i will meet you in the next one bye bye